It is only in Christ. That is why people who lose hope, people who lose faith, people who just want to take their lives, they've lost everything that they think they're living for. They've lost it. So they're like, there's no need to leave. He broke my heart. There's no need to leave. A girl who thinks that she's living because of a relationship. A guy who thinks that he's alive because of a girlfriend. If that girlfriend should break up with him today, he's going to end his life. <laughs> but a girl or a man who knows that if they like 500 people break up with me, my assignment is not dependent on my girlfriend or my boyfriend. I have an assignment that is greater than my physical relationship. I have an assignment that is beyond me. I have an assignment that is greater than me. If 500 girls break up with them, they might hurt for a while. They might cry for a while. But we move. Hope is what keeps you going in the face of challenges. Hope is what keeps you going when you fall. You see, uh, uh, I was in one of my mom's uh, seminar, my mentor, I also call her my mom. Of course, my mom loves her so much. Anyway, we're like a family. And she said, it was somebody else that was speaking on her platform. The person said, all men fall. All men fall. Small men remain on the ground. But wise and smart men, they pick something up from the ground and use it to get up. All men fall. Small men remain on the ground. But wise men, smart men, not just men, men and women now. When I say man, I'm just referring to both genders. But smart men, smart women, from that fall, they will pick up something and rise again even stronger. So life is not devoid of challenges. You will face challenges. But why are we talking about this today and renewing your mind? So that you don't lose hope. Because it is at the point where you lose hope that you begin to see there's no reason for my existence. Not me in Jesus' name. John chapter 16 verse 33. The Bible says that I have told you these things so that in me you may have peace. In this world, you will have trouble, but take heart, I have overcome the world. John chapter 16, verse 33. The Lord says, take heart, I have overcome the world. So even when you face challenges like the example I gave, your husband is struggling in business. They promised to give him a consignment for him to sell in West Africa, and somehow they changed their mind. The Bible says, in this world, you will have many troubles, but take heart, find peace, because I have overcome the world. Is it a job that your husband is looking for? Don't commit adultery yet. The Lord is saying, I have overcome the world. I'm going to give your husband a job. Are you looking for a job? You're looking for documents? The Bible is saying, take heart. Whatever it is, take heart. So it's going to happen, no, but take heart. Find rest. Find peace. Encourage yourself in the Lord like David. I have already overcome the world. That means whatever situation you're in, the Lord is going to make you overcome. You're going to get out of it stronger. Again, all men fall. All men. Or rather, all men stumble. But only small men will fall and remain on the ground. But smart men, smart women will pick something up from the gutter. They will pick something up from that mess. They will pick something up from the challenge and they'll use it to rise. And that will become the aggregate of their testimony. And you see a lot of people... Living lives that you desire, when they share their story, you say, Ah, oh, hey, I for not if you do this one, or this girl is a strong girl. You don't know the half of it. But guess what? When you see people who have been down in life, when you see people who, who people have used their, maybe their mouth or their hands to castigate, and you see them rising, those are truly the wise and the smart people of this generation. Why? Because even though they fall or they are stumbling, they have refused to remain on the ground. From that mess, they are picking up something. Why? Because they have a hope for a future. When you are in the Lord and he shows you your future, he shows you what he has ahead of you, it will not be easy for you to lose hope. There is nothing anybody can come and tell me now that will make me feel like it's not possible. I cannot be at a disadvantage. Why? Because I know that he who has called me, he who has sent me, he sent me for an assignment that is bigger than I am. You have been called for an assignment that is bigger than you are. Don't just look at yourself from your head to your toe and say, Oh, there's nothing more to me. Oh, I'm 21 years old. I can't really do much until I'm like 40, 50. 
Oh, I'm too short. I'm not beautiful enough. You are more than the sum of your parts. I've preached this message a while ago. For those of you who know how to scroll, scroll down. I have many powerful messages for those of you who are just joining the ministry. You are more than the sum of your parts. Don't look at your face, your teeth that is not properly aligned, your nose that is not pointed. You are using it to calculate the future. Do you know who has sent you? Do you know who has called you? The Lord says that in this world there are many challenges. You will face many troubles. But in me there is peace. Take heart, for I have overcome the world. So for anybody that is going through depression, somebody has hurt you, I want you to retrace your step to begin to find your identity in Christ and find rest in Christ. Peace that surpasses human understanding is possible. I'll use myself as an example. Sometimes people see me, they're like, oh, you're such a strong woman. Ah, did that thing really happen to you? Did that thing really happen to you? They're like, are you sure? <laughs> because even me, myself, sometimes I'm like, I don't even know how I find the peace. But guess what? My identity cannot be shaken. I've said it so many times on this platform. God forbid, even if the, the house comes down, everything goes there is nothing that can shake me. Now, from wherever I did, God forbid, I won't be in a hospital bed. But if, if that's what the devil wants to use to challenge me, now from there I go on my live video. God is good. Jesus is faithful all the time. He has been good. He has never failed. And he will not fail. That is my declaration. That is my life. No matter what happens. Because I am functioning in a realm of peace. That surpasses human understanding. Even me, I do not understand it. You too can function in that realm. You had, you had like five interviews last week. Nobody has called you. But somehow you are happy. People are asking you, ah, are you sure you are the one that has been without a job for the past five years? Somehow, everything is just working. <laughs> you, even you cannot explain it. It is possible. It is not juju. It is not, it is not a, it is possible. But you have to dwell in the place of rest of the Lord. I said something during my crossover live video. When you know as a person, you, you know that the person who has sent you is bigger than you. You will not be crying. You will not be fretting. Even if you go to somebody's house, they say, no, get out. You will not cry out because you know that the person who sent you, <laughs> now God at the top, is the boss of all bosses. So nothing should be able to shake you out of your peace. They may try, but don't let it be final. You may be down for a while, but pick up something from that mess, from that gutter. Pick it up. That might be the best of your ministry. Don't let depression end your life. The devil, his assignment is very clear. He came to steal, to kill, and to destroy. Very clear. We all know his assignment. So why is it that some people are letting the devil win over their lives? Suicide is the devil winning. Taking your life when God has not said it is over. That's why it saddens my heart so much when I see young people doing this. Ending a story that God has, God is just about to start. You decided because of the lie of the devil to end it all. May that not be the portion of anyone watching me right now in the name of Jesus. The devil only comes to steal, to kill, and to destroy. So when you see destruction happening around you, all your peace is gone. All the happiness in your home is gone. The joy in your home is gone. That is an activity of the devil. That is the activity of the devil. That is his work. We kukuma know him. Ah, we know him now. It's just like you know somebody that is a, is is always begging you for food. <laughs> Once you're eating, and you know you're very hungry, you don't want to share with that person. You're being stingy. Now what will you do? You cover the food, put it under the bed. <laughs> you clean your mouth and you start gisting with the person. That's how the devil is. Once you begin to smell him coming by the happenings in your life, once you begin to smell him coming, guess what? Go back to God. Go back to God. Go and lambano in his presence. Create an altar. I've said it a lot of times. For me, my altar is in my bathroom, my toilet. I just showed myself there. I worship. I have a speaker. I play loud music. That's my altar. 
That's where I get inspiration. That's where I get answers. That's where I cry in worship. That's where I am. Oh my God. Have an altar in your home. Once you smell the activity of the devil. I know it's not easy, Francis Necky. The devil will always try. Ah, he's going to and fro looking for whom he will devour. Thank you so much, Mbewe to Mayo from Zambia. God bless you. The devil is going to and fro, back and forth like a roaring lion. He's looking for whose peace he's going to destroy. He's looking for whose life he's going to destroy. Once you smell his activity, go back to the Lord. Lambano there. The devil will try, but he will not completely succeed. At the end of the day, you will overcome. Why? Because your boss, your father, your friend, your comforter, the Lord, strong and mighty, has already overcome the world. So don't say you are not aware of who the devil is. Once you are beginning to smell, you know, some backwardness financially or lack of peace, lack of joy in your life, no say the devil don't put key for door of your house. He won't enter. <laughs> he won't enter. What do you do? Quickly, the way you will hide the food, go and hide yourself in the place of prayer. Resume your devotional with your family and start praying. If you have a spouse that doesn't want to join you in prayer, that one is another situation. But you pray by yourself. Pray with your children if they listen to you. Lambano in the place of prayer. John 15 verse 5. The Lord says, I am the vine and you are the branches. If you remain in me and I in you, you will bear much fruit. Because if you are outside of me, you can do nothing. The Lord is the vine, we are the branches. Why do we think we can survive outside of being connected to the vine? Why do you think you can survive or you can go far outside of being connected to the vine? A stem that is broken from a plant, it cannot survive on its own. Give it one, one day to turn brown. 24 hours max, 48 hours. The Lord is the vine and we are the branches. So if you want to bear fruit, if you want to succeed, if you want to find happiness, joy, that joy, that peace that surpasses human understanding, you have to remain connected to the Lord. John 15 verse 5. You have to remain connected to the vine. You cannot lose hope that way. When you are connected to the vine, you cannot lose hope. When you are connected to God, you cannot be without hope. You cannot be hopeless. There is no challenge that the enemy will bring your way that will make you hopeless. It's not possible. This is my testimony. I don't know how it happens. And a lot of women that I have seen, that I have counseled in the past, by the grace of God, through the help of the Holy Spirit, at the end of the day, they'll say, you know what, ma'am? As I'm here like this, I'm not even thinking of that issue again. I'll say, hey, are you serious? They'll say, yes, that doesn't even what's on their mind right now. They're moving on to other things. I say, wow, this is indeed the peace that surpasses human understanding. What the devil wants to do is to steal your peace. The devil wants to steal your joy. The Bible says that with joy, we shall draw water from the wells of salvation. Once your joy is gone, once your happiness is gone, how can you draw your answers? How can you draw your testimonies from the well of salvation? It's not possible. That's when depression sets in. Depression sets in. You're like, is life worth living? That's what's happening to a lot of these young people that are ending their lives. Is life worth living? I don't even have a girlfriend that calls to check up on me. I don't have a boyfriend that calls to check up on me. I've not made it in this life. I've tried everything possible, still I've not made it. I went to school, I got all carryover, still I've not made it. <laughs> Can I tell you that that dangerous or that... That challenging situation in your life, that is what the Lord wants to use to give you your greatest testimony. A lot of times, the most, John chapter 15 verse 5, John first, John 15 verse 5, I'll read all the scriptures again from the, um, from the beginning. John 15 verse 5 is what I just read. From your toughest challenge is what the Lord brings out your greatest testimony the tougher the challenge the bigger the testimony my darling sisters, and stuff people ladies tell her god bless you you're welcome i love you 
The greater the challenge in your life, the greater the opposition, the greater the testimony. The greater or the harder the enemy comes at you, the higher your testimony is when you finally succeed. So don't lose hope. Don't lose faith. 2 Timothy chapter 2 verse 4. No man that warreth entangleth himself with the affairs of this life, that he may please him who had chosen him to be a soldier. We are soldiers of the Lord. We are ambassadors of Christ. The Lord says that we wrestle not against flesh and blood. As believers, we wrestle. We are in a constant battle with evil because we are light. We are light. And darkness does not like light because it, 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 beats, it hinders their activity. Evil is able to happen a lot where there is no light. Sin can be covered where there is no light. But once you arrive, once you step in, in that family, at that office, at that workplace, once you step in and you carry light, you think darkness will just let you operate like that? You think darkness will just fold their hands and be watching you operate like that? <laughs> of course, you have come to scatter their activities. God bless you so much. Some people like Stella, thank you for the stars. Of course, you have come to disrupt their activities. You've come to scatter their plans. So their plan is to make you exit or finish you so that you will not have the opportunity to do what the Lord has sent you to do. So that they can continue whatever it is they want to do. But I pray for you today in the name of Jesus. As many that are watching, as many that are going to watch after this live stream. Every plan of the enemy against your life to cause you to lose hope. To cause you to be without peace. To steal your peace. To steal your joy. In the name of Jesus, I bring all their plans to nothing. Right now in Jesus' mighty name. Not in my name, but in the name of Jesus Christ. The Bible says that at the mention of that name, every knee shall bow and every tongue must confess. And so right now, standing on the authority of that name, Jesus, every power that wants to come against you, I come against them in the name of Jesus and I render them powerless in Jesus' mighty name. We are at a war. It's not a joke. And those who are committing suicide are those who went to the front, the enemy's front, and allowed them to shoot them. They did not even fight back. They, they got tired of fighting so quick. When the Lord has said, Take heart! Take heart. You think you're the only one who has been through challenges. Me preaching to you here now. <laughs> if I tell you the challenges, even your own self, you will thank God. <laughs> the challenges that I've been through that God has brought me out of. If I tell you maybe half. You say thank you Jesus for the challenges that me I have. It's okay like this. I don't even need any other thing. <laughs> But the Lord delivers us from all of it and we come out shining. We don't stay on the floor. We don't stay on the ground. Don't allow the devil keep you on the ground. He wants to make you depressed. He wants to steal your joy. Stand up with something from that mess. Stand up with a lesson. My slogan is forget the past, but never ever forget the lessons that it taught you. Because if you forget the lessons that the past taught you, you keep on making the same mistake over and over again. John 10, 10, again, the devil comes only to steal, to kill, and to destroy. Don't let the devil have victory over your life. It is in Christ that you will find the blueprint for your life, for your future, for your next level. Outside of Christ, you'll be hopeless. Good evening, everyone just joining. Juliet, I said, more grace, favor, thank you. Favor, Kosiso. Outside of Christ, Ha! The devil will not play you like football in the name of Jesus. I've made a lot of points here today and at this time, I just want to encourage everyone that is going through depression. I don't know what has happened to you all, but have you heard my own? <laughs> that happened to me years ago or whatever. Just try to give thanks for God to God in that situation. And keep shining irrespective. Keep moving. Don't stay on the floor. Don't stay down. Keep your head up. 
Your future is bigger than you. You were not created for yourself alone. You were created to make impact. A lot of destinies are tied to you. And by the grace of God, as long as you remain with God and you find rest in him, you will fulfill purpose, you will fulfill destiny in the name of Jesus. Your life will not be wasted. The plan of the enemy to still kill and destroy. It is not your life the devil used to make an example. In the name of Jesus, every arrow of suicide that is flying left and right, front and back, it will not enter your family. Your children will not end their lives. Your husband will not be frustrated to the point where he will end his life. He will find hope in God again. In the name of Jesus. Those who are just coming out, anchor scripture is Jeremiah 29, 11. The Lord is saying, I know the thoughts that I have towards you. I know the thoughts that I have towards you. Thoughts of good, not of evil, to bring you a hope and a future. Some translations will say to bring you to an expected end. You don't know what people are going through. Especially ministers of the gospel. You don't know. But somehow, because we have cultivated a, a, a kind of faith that is unshakable, that is not determined by our situation, that is not determined by the circumstances, still you see your pastor every Sunday preaching to you, you think your pastor doesn't have problems. Or you think the same, your container on the high sea, you think your pastor's on just sailed smoothly. The devil will still try. Of course. But guess what? We have a kind of peace that even we cannot understand. Sometimes some things will happen to me. I will ask myself, why are you not shaking? Why are you not crying? I'm telling you, God is my witness. I'll be asking myself. I'll be on my bed. I'll ask myself, but why am I not sad? <laughs> and the Lord will say, you want to be sad, but I've given you peace that surpasses human understanding. I cannot even understand it. Me, I don't understand it. So that can also happen for you. That can also happen for you. Peace that surpasses human understanding. Thank you so much, Unstoppable Lady Stella. People will see you. You won't look like what you've been through. Uh -uh. Now you, your husband, leave five children for. And you are shining like this. Your business is booming. You are not crying. You are not wearing tattered clothes. How come? Uh -uh. They'll come to your house. Everywhere is nice. Senti. Your children are looking good. Powder on their face. Charming. Uh -uh. How come? Even you cannot explain it. I just tired my sister. I don't know. <laughs> Sadness. No, they let me sad. I'm always full of hope. That will be your testimony in the name of Jesus. Nothing will steal your joy. Nothing will steal your hope. In the name of Jesus. Specifically to those who are battling with the issue of wanting to take their lives. I want you to listen to this message and find hope in God. God has the blueprint for your life. If you think you, there's nothing more left for you on this earth, God has a lot more for you. A lot more. So much more than you could ever think or imagine. The Bible says, eyes have not seen, ears have not heard, neither has it entered into the heart of any man what God has planned for those who love him. Also, people, ladies, tell her, I don't understand. This, your love today, is, 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 is extra. I love you so much. Thank you so much. God bless you. Such an amazing woman, touching lives, blessing lives all around. I'm always mentioning her sometimes in my live stream. But she's touching lives. Once you find your purpose in Christ, even though the enemy tries, you can be down for a while, you'll get up again. Nothing will steal your joy. Because that's the plan of the devil. Don't let him win. When you smell his activity, you say, ah, ah. Now me, devil, why you stay play? Even when you are crying, the team paying you. Open your Bible, be worshipping. Be worshipping, be thanking God. Roll on the floor, even though they called you and said they are not giving you the job. Be rolling on the floor, thanking God, thanking God, saying, devil, you have failed. I know this is your hard work, but trust me, you have failed. The job that is coming after this one is bigger, is better. The man that is coming after this one is bigger, is better. The wife that is coming after this one is bigger, is better. I'm not going to stay down. All men fall. Small men remain on the ground. Wise men, wise women, pick something up and rise with it. Don't let the devil keep you down. It's okay to cry, yo. Me, I'm... <laughs> in fact, it's okay to cry. Me, when I'm worshipping, I cry. When I'm praising, I cry. It's just when I think of how much God loves me, I start crying. I'm just like that. Very emotional. 
<laughs> so when bad things happen to you, it's okay to cry. Inside that tears, play loud music, be on the floor, worshipping, thanking God for the fact that you are still alive. It is more than enough. It is more than enough. I started with the song Taking Care of Me because God is taking care of you. Taking care by Moses, please. God is taking care of you. I'm going to just repeat all the Bible passages I read today. First one, I'll anchor scripture, Jeremiah 29, verse 11, for I know the plans that I have for you. Young people, young girls, young boys, forget Yahoo, forget sugar daddies. Sugar daddy, sugar daddy, sugar daddy is almost 90. By the time God calls him home, what happens to your life? What will be the plan? What is the next step? Only God has the blueprint for your life. If you have been living like that before, you can change and be better. It is possible. A man's life does not consist in the amount of things that he owns. That space in your life, that void in your heart, only one thing can fill it, God. You think it is money that you need, guess what? You will get all the money that you think you need. You will marry the most beautiful man you think you need. But there will still be something. You can't even put your hands on it. It is that fellowship with God. I also mentioned if you are married, you have children. There is nothing sweeter than having devotion with God. When the wind will blow, when the storm will come, your family will still be intact. Why? Because your family is founded on a foundation that is bigger than that wind. Your family is founded on a foundation that is bigger than any storm. Even though you don't have money, you are binded in the love of God. There's nothing sweet at all. I'm telling you. Riding a Range Rover is very sweet. Ah, very, very. But there's nothing sweeter than riding with God. Even though you're in a Honda, even though you're in a Kekena Pep, and you have God, you just be bouncing. You just be happy. Even though your husband is a mechanic, you just be happy, you just be fresh. Even though you're not carrying long Brazilian hair, it's, it's strange hair you are carrying. But there's this contentment you just go to your fish market you buy fish you cook a cross soup your husband comes home in the evening all of you sit down you eat your cross soup you pray you watch african magic nt even though you don't have dstv it doesn't matter but you both are happy your husband is not cheating on you you are not cheating on your husband your children are growing in the lord what can be more than that trust me <laughs> lamborghini is sweet but it's not that sweet maserati is sweet but it's not that sweet i mean are you going to sleep inside huh? you can't sleep inside <laughs> that peace that joy that union that is founded in christ is what everything is what everything so john 16 verse 33 the lord has overcome the world it says that in the world you have many troubles but he has already overcome the world that john verse 1 to 2 the lord wishes that you prosper and be in health even as your soul prospers so don't say that oh it is is it is the plight of christians to remain poor it is the lord's desire that you prosper in every way and be in health but you must be connected and follow his blueprint for your life it may tarry but it will surely come it is for an appointed time that is the vision hallelujah John 15 verse 5, I am the vine and you are the branches. If you abide outside of me, you can't bear anything. You will try, 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 try. You don't come out from the roots. Do you understand? You are no more connected to the source. A lot of us are looking for money, looking for house, looking for a job, looking for papers, looking for a husband, looking for a wife. The person who created all the husbands and wife in the world, you don't abandon them. That's God. You've abandoned God, you are pursuing one boy. You've abandoned God, you're pursuing one girl. If this girl no grief for me, I, I, my enemy die. If this girl no go grief for me, I'll, my enemy will kill himself. There's a God who created all the husband potential, all the husband materials. And he can give you the one that will give you peace for the rest of your life. Same as you with the guys. Is it money? Job? Is it not God that put those people in the positions that they are at those jobs? Is it not God that gave man the wisdom to create those companies in the first place? So why do you think you have to be sleeping with five men before they will give you one appointment in the office? He says the heart of kings and queens are in his hands. 2 Timothy chapter 2 verse 4 No man that worries entangles himself with the affairs of this world, so that you may please the one who has sent you, God. 
Your focus should be on pleasing God always, touching lives, blessing humanity, revealing Jesus. That's it. Anything other than that should be a waste of time to you. And any other thing should be gearing you towards fulfilling the will of he who has sent you. And lastly, John 10, 10, we know the, the devil's work. We already know. He comes to steal, to kill, to destroy. Don't act like you don't know. So when you perceive him, not even just when you perceive him, before you even perceive him, because you know he's looking for who he wants to devour. You know he's looking for who he wants to destroy. This is why it's important for your identity in Christ to be solid. And so shall it be in Jesus' mighty name. I pray for those who are struggling with suicidal thoughts right now. Youth, young people, old people, however, whatever age you are, in whatever echelon of life that you are. I pray that you will find hope again. And that you will experience the love of God like never before. Victory is your portion in Christ. Even though the enemy is challenging you, I want to tell you that you will overcome. Don't end your life. God has not said it is over. Don't say it is over. Don't put a full stop where God is putting a comma. Don't do it to yourself. The story continues. Your story continues. Don't let the devil lie to you. Your life is important. Your life is important. Your life is very important. And your life does not consist in the amount of things that you have. You and what the Lord has put inside of you. From inside of you can come more than you could ever ask or think. The Lord doesn't make any useless thing. The Lord didn't make any useless individual. Anything that doesn't have value. Your hands are working. Your legs are working. Why do you think that the next thing is for you to commit suicide? That's a lie of the devil. And that's the message for today. Find rest in God. God bless you all so much. I know we've um, stayed a while. It's very late in some parts of the world. It's almost midnight. I celebrate you. I love you all. Do not forget, you can reach out to me for counseling if you need to talk to me. Also, do not forget um, that we have Worship in Spirit and Truth the last Saturday of this month. And we also have Renewing Your Mind the last Sunday of this month. It's the first and last Sunday. Um, I hope I'm not late uh, for the last one because today I was a little bit late. I was out and I didn't want to do it in the car. I wanted to do it at home and I'm at home now. So thank you all. God bless you. For those who shared, those who commented, those who reached out to somebody to say, listen to this message, you are saving a life. If you know anyone who is losing hope, if you know anyone who has mentioned to you, ah, this life just tired me, share this video to them. Share it to them. Give this video to them as a gift. Say, listen. It's a little bit long, but sleep on it. Meditate on it. God bless you all so much. So I'll see you all um, maybe soon by the grace of God. And don't forget to follow me on all my social media platforms. I'm on TikTok, <laughs> Win Women International. I am on Instagram, Win underscore Women underscore International. That TikTok is so funny to me. I love you more. Some people like Stella, AMB, Pretty Jennifer, whoa, whoa. All my Win Women, Justina, Tina, Alicia, Dismas, all of you here. God bless you so much. That TikTok, the name is so funny to me. TikTok is like children's game. TikTok. <laughs> so funny. But um, what even motivated me to join is because my mentor joined. Ah, I say, ah, if mommy can join TikTok, who am I? <laughs> ah, thank you, Modesty Ezewele. God bless you. <laughs> I say, if my mama can join TikTok, who am I? Now I open my own TikTok, oh my dear people. So if you've not followed me, go and follow me on TikTok. My Instagram is win underscore women underscore international. And do not forget, you can reach out to me on WhatsApp. Please go straight to the point. Don't just say hello. Say hello and tell me what you want to say so that I'll know how to respond to you. I still have a few messages pending, but I'll get to it as soon as possible. A lot of testimonies coming in, weddings, uh, ladies that I spoke to in the past to make sure that you know, they do things the right way. Things have been done the right way. They've been getting married. Um, they've been reunited with their husbands, with their spouse. And I bless God for all the testimonies. And I know that you too watching me right now, whatever it is you're believing God for, he will grant you the desires of your heart. What you ask for is what the Lord will do for you. In Jesus' mighty name. Yes, so some people like this. Now, TikTok. 
<laughs> the name makes me laugh so much. TikTok. <laughs> As my mama joined, I say I must join though. My mama that is older than me can join. What am I for me for? I got joined though. <laughs> I love you all so much. Have a blessed night. Have a great week. May the Lord bless and keep you. May the Lord cause his face to shine upon you and give you rest in Jesus' name. Amen. On timely death is not your portion. The devil will not succeed over your life. He has failed over your life and he will continue to fail in Jesus' name. Amen. Shalom, everybody. Good night. Bye.